Hello, it's Cameron here from Quickshot Films, and today I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to make this ground shock effect from my last video. I'll be making a tutorial on the other two parts later, uh, but I'm just going to do this one today, and yeah. So, I've done a couple of takes of this tutorial, so hopefully I'll get it right this time. Uh, but yeah. So first of all, you want to get a, uh, a shot of you jumping and then landing and jumping again. Uh, this is what you're going to use uh, for the whole edit. So uh, make sure there's a, there's an empty part of this video as well because you're going to need that. Uh, yeah, so once you've got that you just want to import it. Import your footage. Okay. And then drag that footage into the video track. Click yes if it asks you for that and just delete the audio track. Good, now let's watch that. Okay, so we're going to want to cut this down to when we first enter the shot. When we first enter the shot is here. We don't want to cut it down, I mean we want to save a frame of that. Save an empty frame. So go preview, save frame. And save a frame name blank. Then go OK, and my file already exists, so I'll click yes. So once you've got that, just select that and cut it right where you've done that and now click play and find where you land after your first jump so right there and split that click the first track click delete now go over to the end of that and find where you stop going up in this jump. Uh, by the way, if you want to know how I'm going frame by frame, I use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do that. So it's, I think I'm about there, I think. So I'm just going to split that and cut the end. And that right now is about the time I actually zoom into my clips. Using this thing here, I zoom in until these uh, little bars here are about that far apart. That's how I know I've zoomed in far enough. And I'll go back to the start and I'll drag that clip to the start. So uh, one thing you want to do is drag these blank frames at the start of your clip here. Make these about a quarter of a second long. So about there I think is a quarter of a second. Okay, and then I'll drag the other one to here. And make that about the same width. Okay, so now if we click play with a blank landing and then blank. Uh, so you want to, uh, right now is about Oh, whoops, okay, so <laughs> uh, go back to the start of this clip and save a frame, go s just one frame after the start and click preview and save a frame of that. That's going to be the landing. Land. Okay, and then what exists. Okay, so I've got a frame of that. And you also want to save a frame of you jumping into the air. So go to the end of that and click save frame. And I'll change the name that to jump. And click OK. And the file will exist, so yes. Alright. Okay, so once you've got these two frames, you want to cut out the background of them. Do that however you like, use whatever program you like. But uh, I use GIMP and I just use the uh, snipping tool, whatever it's called, to go around the edge of it. And then I just delete the background. So uh, I'm just going to go away and do that now, and then I'll meet you guys back here once we've got that done. Okay, so once you've done that, just go ahead and import both those. Okay, now uh, you want to drag your cutout land image over the first blank, to fit over the first blank. So you have that. Okay, and then go to the final blank and put your jumping image over that. So there we go. I'm gonna pull that over that, like so. And yeah, now we have us freeze and then fall and then freeze and then, yeah. Okay, cool. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and save this <laughs> just to make sure it's all good. Uh, okay. So now you want to go and animate these two clips to. Uh, to fall in and then jump out. So to do this, click on your first land clip, go transform and go show keyframes. And then it will come up with this white box down here. You want to click at the end of that white box to create another keyframe. 
and then go ahead and click on the first circle again. So with that first cir circle selected, drag your footage up. And now if you play it, it should have animated the frames in between those two circles. And uh, it should, yeah, play like so. You might want to speed that up or slow it down depending on what you want to do, but that's good for me right now because I'm going to speed the actual clip up at the end. So, yeah. uh, and then you want to go ahead and do the same to your jump clip. Uh, so click on it, click transform and show keyframes, then you'll get this white box. Click it to the end of it, and then uh, go back one frame using the arrow keys, and then resize this until he kind of, until I <laughs> kind of fill the fill the shot. Flipsy, and yeah, you can rotate that if you wanted as well. <laughs> okay, so now I have these two pieces of footage. Although I might make this last one. Should have something like that. <coughs> so uh, that is the basics behind it. Now we want to make the shot boom effect that, that I named it for some reason. Okay, and to do this, create. Uh, you'll need two more two more layers. So uh, right click on that bottom video track and click insert video track. Uh, video group. Okay, <laughs> you need that anyways. So keep that. Uh, right click on the video group and go insert video track. Right click on that video track and click insert video track. So we've got two video tracks and a new group as well. So uh, in this bottom video track of the group, you'll want to copy this footage from the original video track and paste it in there with your thing at the start of it, like that. And now we'll have two layers of the exact same footage. And now in this top video track, you want to go up to Media, Library, Samples, Quick Shapes, and insert that circle. Uh, and pull that down to the size of the track. Okay. Once you've got that, uh, go into General for the circles properties. And click the Quick Shape type and pull the scroller up and go. Actually, no, you don't need to. You just click Donut. That's what you need. And then pull the slider down. Okay. So now we have a donut shape that's going to be a shockwave a ripple. So uh, to make this actually like a ripple thing, uh, pull this top part down. You can make multiple of these to make more of a ripply effect because like there's usually multiple ripples when you do that. But there we go. Pull that down underneath your feet by like dragging that down and fitting that like that and make it a lot smaller so it's like starting at the feet and spreading out. Good. Like that. Okay, now uh, cut this to about this length. Cut both these tracks. Very short. I know, you know. <laughs> I know, but you know. Uh, I'm just gonna pull it a bit longer. So a little bit longer, I think, will be fine. Uh, okay. Once you've got that, you want to animate the circle spreading out. So to do that, click on it, click transform, and click show keyframes. And now click on the end of the box and pull that out a lot to about there if you go back a frame you'll be able to see it it's just the way Siri Movie Plus works okay and now if you click play it will spread like that like wow fan uh, okay so yeah once you've got that, you want to select the uh, top video group because right now we're going to be making it look more 3D. So, uh, yeah, <coughs> sorry, except that click on the top video track, click general, and change this blend mode to mask. Now that donut will disappear, but no fear. Ah, uh, this camera is here. <coughs> um, click the top video group, well, the video group, and click add effect and filter effects, edit effects, and untick and a glow. Uh, and click 3D effects instead and pull this depth up a lot. So about there, about halfway. And then go into the 3D lighting at the bottom and uh, soften up. Shininess, I'll specular down to like zero. Oh, maybe like one. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then, uh, yeah, pull up the ambient light probably. Oh, maybe a bit less. Yeah, and just change the lighting direction using this thing. 
so it comes from your light source, well more light than light source. <coughs> so that's basically what I need for mine. Uh, you can modify this to have it looks good for your one, uh, but yeah that's the basics. I'll go into feather and take that box and pull up the blur for the feather, like quite a bit, about there, about halfway again, <laughs> and click OK. So now you'll have this, which I'm actually going to make longer by holding control and pulling out the donut. There we go. And for the bottom track I'll just pull out all the way. Just like that. That could be a bit slow. <laughs> Let's try that again. We don't want to make it too much slower, just a little bit. Okay, and that is pretty much the effect done. Uh, f the last thing I'm going to do though is make it so that these fade out at the end. Let's hope this looks alright. Might, you know, that looks fine. So there we go. That is the basic effect. Uh, you can modify how the ripple looks to your liking. You can add multiple uh, by adding by like duplicating these groups. Uh, and of course, then you end up with heaps of tracks. It will take forever to render. But by doing this. You can make the effect look quite cool. <laughs> I didn't do this in my actual video, but I kind of feel like I should have now. Uh, I want to change the size of the ripple. It's a bit here. Don't actually know what this will look like, but let's try. Looks quite cool. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know if it looks any better, but. I don't even know if you guys will be able to see it, but that's just another thing you could do. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's like double ripple. I actually quite like that. Um, so yeah, that's the basic thing. You can add some smoke puffs. Wait, that's what I did in my one. I go on to video stock footage. Oh, why is nothing showing up there? Stock footage, there we go. Puff. Smoke puff footage. I don't know which one works. Does that one? Yes. Okay. I know one of them doesn't work. <laughs> it's always work. Okay, and I insert it. Actually, I can put it. Yeah, insert another video track. Uh, and then, you can just do this just as I do in my muzzle flash tutorial. Got to put that there. Delete that one. Select the track and click uh, screen. That'll make, get rid of the blackness. And you can transform this and put it like that or something. And now if we click, if we pull that shorter, pull that to start, click play. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Anyway, that's the effect done and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure to comment some suggestions of videos and tutorials in the description. Uh, tell me if you liked uh, this tutorial, if I could do anything better. And yeah, so tell me what you guys want. I will be doing the other two tutorials later for this video. The ragdoll one and the flying through the air. I don't really know if I need to do one with the flying through the air, but I will anyway, just because. So yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. I might just merge the other two into one, actually. Yeah, I might do that. Although the ragdoll's quite a hard one. I don't know. Okay, so that's the effect done. Uh, I'll show you the final footage of my last one as well, so you can get ideas of what you could do uh, to make it look a bit nicer. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to uh, subscribe <laughs> and like this video. Uh, and yeah, so uh, links to downloads and stuff will be in the description as well. So yeah, okay, see you guys next time. Bye.